Season 1 of D2R I've managed to play my fully geared FOH Paladin only for a few days. However, I liked it so much that I couldn't wait to try it again. Last November, when we hit 7500 subscribers, I decided to do these runs. I'm going to do a huge farming project with good old Care Sanctuary. And of course, it had to be the king himself. 750 CS runs were done, and oh my god, they were awesome. <gasps> and so the hero was born from Act 1 Normal to Act 4 Hell. He had some great moments in his journey that implied some great luck traveling by his side. Beating Hell meant that I could get my shared gear and respect into hybrid FOH team. One of the main goals was of course to continue on my Holy Grail progress, but also to hopefully find runes for Infinity, which by the way I cannot make for a long while already. We started with 29 items left and already the first one was something that has been chasing me throughout this project. Treasure class 3 items. They are on top of the most rare finds in the area level 85, but doesn't mean they are very valuable, especially that I managed to get most of them from Nightmare and Dario farming for SOJs. However, I still had two left from my list, the most rare ones, Torch of Hyra and Nail Striker. Finally, I could cross one of them off the list. When you are farming to get items off your holy grail list, it is important to find something good, like these majestic boots. Or ethereal gordian angel, which is GG for your Trivanko merc setup. Any small charm upgrades are always welcome, as those MF and res ones are so hard to find. To add here, I actually found two great max res charms and one max damage AR MF charm for a barb. I was quite happy to find two more uniques that make their own grail in a sense, Hormus Robes. First one happened to be Glacial Spike, while the second one is an absolutely GG find, plus 3 Blizzard Robe with perfect plus 15% cold damage. If you are only focusing on the grail, things can get quite daunting very quick. One of the worst things is to find items of the wrong quality, like this BK Colossus Sword, while missing Unique Grandfather, of course, or, for example, getting a wrong roll on the items that share the base, like this lightsaber number 1,300,069, instead of Azorah. But still, my favorite of the worst items is Horizon Terminator. In between, I managed to find some cool items of variant rarity, like that High Lord's Emmy, Tomb Breather, obviously with only one socket, Wolf Howl, Barb Helm, Draco's Gloves, not so rare but still a new Grailer, Kira's Gordian, which will go handy with the F Gordian Angel for the Merc. Way more rare and a grailer as well, Arcane's Valor. Also, pretty cool 39% MF Chance Guards. Couple of Verdango's Belts. Couple of Soul Drainers that work more on myself than monsters. Even that funny rare face blade, very seldom it throws good stats and so high on enhanced damage. Speaking of rare items, I actually found two pairs of gloves, 220 Javazone with some fire resistance and another one with some man and MF on them on top. And another great rare item, plus 5 to Blizzard and plus 3 to Meteor, Rare Sword Corp, extra mana and life. Other useful finds were a bunch of skillers, very useful piloting combat with extra gold find, summoning for necromancers, Elemental for Druids, and best of them all, Curses for an Ekra. I actually found 4 unique Grand Charms, Git Fortunes. Surprisingly, RNG was only in the mood for scam action this time. 21, 22, 26, and 32 MF rolls. Yikes. Ok, now the classics. 3 Lacerators, to be stashed until Troll Bar would be great to play one day. 3 times Skin of the Viper Magi, with variant rolls. 
Last one actually dropped together with Arachnid Mesh, which made me quite surprised. Perfect duo. Oculus, to complete the perfect sword picture. Titan's Revenge for Javazon enjoyers. Add to that most commonly used mercenary helmet and Darius visage. And not one, not two, but three Shakers. Even with 100% perfect one with 141 defense. Almost perfect poison facet and quite interesting magic jewel, 15 AS and 13 fire AS. Ah, but did I succeed with those crazy rare grailers or have I failed to get closer to finishing it? Actually, my very second drop in these runs was that rare TC-87, unique glorious axe, executioner's justice. Also, there has been one insane day of streaming, just look at that. In a mere 50 runs I find my last amulet on the grail, Metal Grid. 8 runs later getting some of the rarest weapon in the game, Unique Thunder Maul, which rolled Cranium Basher, which is a grailer for me. 10 runs later, followed by Unique Berserker Axe, Death Cleaver with 264 AD and 9 life after each kill. Just 16 runs after, I get Valkyrie Wing. And another 11 runs after, Sad Diadem, if only it rolled unique, can you imagine? Next 3 items are quite interesting too. Halibert Rain is crazy rare barb helmet. Ethereal Hon Sun... Done? <laughs> Is a pretty cool weapon thanks to auto repair, 45% crashing blow and free open sockets. And finally, Big D himself gives me unique spired helm, which you might have guessed is another grader of mine, Nightwing's Veil, with 13% call damage. I uh, kinda skipped runes, so here they are. I really hope to get sewer bear runes for my infinity, but my first rune found was actually Cham rune. Yes. Again, Cham rune. Followed yet by another Om rune, which I think I find more than anything else. With a casual ghoul from a popable. Followed by two Om runes from Infector Pack and Random Group at the entrance. Wait. What about that sacred armor? Alright, here it is. If you enjoyed the video, I appreciate the like, it helps a lot. Also, consider subscribing. Unique Thank you very sacred much. Sacred armor! Come on, guys! <sighs> it's not ethereal, GG! Oh my god, it's a grailer regardless, but holy shit! Can you imagine? Oh man, <laughs> I need to do something stupid if it's blue, right? <laughs> <sighs> all right, all right, let's do it. <sighs> Three, two, one. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, Templar's might. <laughs> oh man, that's still awesome. That's still really good. <laughs> Holy moly, Tyrael, where have you been? Come on, you have to be infused in here. Look, dude. Yeah. <laughs>